Guanajuato. It is one of the best known and most beautiful colonial cities in Mexico and almost 2,000 meters above sea level. The historic center has been on the World Heritage List since 1988. Hi, I am Martijn, your guide in Guanajuato. After watching this travel guide, you know a lot about this city to get the most out of your trip. From this viewing point to this crazy museum and everything in between. I don't like to ask, but please like, subscribe or leave a comment. It's the only way to grow on YouTube and to make new videos in the future. The most easy way to travel to the city is by plane to Del Bajio Airport. And this is also the airport of the city of Leon. There are direct flights from the United States and also within Mexico. A cheaper way to travel is by bus. For example, from Mexico City there is the Primera bus. A journey takes around 5 hours and costs you around 30 euros. And from the airport over here you can take a taxi to the city and a single journey takes around 30 to 40 minutes depending on your final destination. It is really a beautiful city with colorful houses, winding alleys, many colonial buildings and friendly people. You have to start somewhere in this overwhelming, beautiful city. And let's do that in the old center on this square, Plaza de la Paz, the square of the peace. It's surrounded by colonial buildings, banks and restaurants. And a long time ago, these houses, residents, were home to counts and important men. And the square has a lot of history, of course. For example, in 1858, when Benito Juarez, the old president, declared that Guajato was the capital of Mexico on this square. And he was important, you can still see his face on the 20 peso banknotes. He was with 1 meter 37, the shortest leader ever. And there is still Benito Juarez Airport in Mexico City. A structure you can't miss when you are on the square is the yellow Basilica of Our Lady. It's a real landmark of the city and maybe you know it from postcards. The construction started in 1671 and it took around 25 years to complete it. The church was upgraded to a basilica in 1957 and you can visit it completely free of charge. a lot of beautiful squares in town. For example, Plaza de San Fernando. This one is famous because there are a lot of bars and restaurants over here. And this fountain. And also Plaza de Los Angeles. And behind Plaza de Los Angeles, you find one of the most famous streets in town. El Callejón de Beso, the alley of the kiss. Over here are two balconies close to each other. So actually you can stand on one balcony and then kiss your partner. Mm, lovely, isn't it? The only thing is that you have to survive this queue and you have to pay for it. It's a real tourist attraction. In a moment we are going underground, but first sky high to a great viewing point around the city. You can go up by yourself, but there is also a small train, they call it a funicular. It brings you to the top in a few minutes and a return ticket will set you back 3 euros and 25 cents. And on top there is also a statue for El Pipila. In 1810, Guanajuato was one of the first major cities to be taken back by the people. Partially spurred by the young brave miner Juan José Los Reyes Martínez, El Pipila. Running into a Spanish gunfire with only a rock on his back for protection to light a fortress on fire. He perished, but he lives on a 30 stone statue holding the torch of liberty high above the city. What is the best time to visit the city? I think the whole year is good to go. Limited rainfall and a really nice climate. The hottest month is May with an average temperature of 28 degrees and January is the coldest with temperatures around 20 degrees Celsius. And keep in mind that the city is in the mountains so it can be cold by night. In a moment I'll show you this house from a Mexican artist which is changed into a museum. But first we are going underground because there is a large tunnel network in this city. They use it for cars and traffic, but in the past it was built to prevent of floating a nearby river from damaging the city. And actually this tunnel makes the city a perfect place to walk in. Wow. 
One of the most famous artists in Mexico was born over here, Diego Rivera. He was married, by the way, a long time to Frida Kahlo, maybe more familiar for you, as he was a Mexican painter. The house where he was born in 1886 has been transformed into a museum and you can visit it right here in the city. There is a lot of art and also the old furniture. I was not allowed to film the art and they are really strict about it. There I check it on every corner in the museum, so you have to figure that out by yourself. The heart of the city center is Jardin de la Union, a big plaza or square with a lot of beautiful trees. And the first trees were planted in 1836 and it's still beautiful. With a lot of bars and restaurants. And don't forget to visit this place by night. Because of the music, the mariachi, it's a lot of fun. And beside this square there is a lovely old building, Teatro Juarez, that still hosts concerts today. And there are some theaters offering shows, for example Teatro Principal, the main theater, mostly on Fridays. A symphony orchestra ticket will set you back around 4 euros and you get two hours of music and fun. It's time to show you something special. A museum full with mummies. Yes, mummies. It's one of the weirdest things you can do in town and the museum is open from 9 in the morning till 6 in the evening and the ticket will set you back 93 pesos and that's around 4 euros. The museum houses over 100 mummified bodies. Mexicans are obsessed with that and this museum only helps to prove that. There are a lot of nice restaurants in the city center to eat and also some local food markets. Look, this is cozy, isn't it? And if you want to shop, you go to the biggest market in town, Mercado Hidalgo. Over here you can buy everything from clothes to food. And when you are inside, you may think that you are in a train station and you are kind of right because this building was built as a train station, but they use it as a market. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just visit this place because of the architecture. Serious. One of the coolest things to do in the evening is a walking tour with music. And it starts normally around 8 p.m. Local people show you the city with music and dance. And you can buy your tickets just on the streets. Give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this video. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.